talking about Brock Osweiler. This just broke about an hour ago. Um, the Houston Texans quarterback is no longer going to be in Houston. He was traded to the Cleveland Browns for a second round pick. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Cleveland, what the hell are you doing? You're bringing in another failed quarterback or, or another quarterback that will fail in Cleveland, but take it easy. It sounds like Cleveland is just going to cut him. They're going to take the cap hit, and I don't know how how much they'll be losing, but uh, it, it's a pretty big amount, the cap hit of bringing in Brock Osweiler. That being said, they, they did bring in a second-round pick, and this has been a team that's been stockpiling assets for the last couple of seasons they they brought in a lot of draft picks for the Philadelphia Eagles last year when they uh traded traded down uh so the Eagles could pick up Carson Wentz and uh yeah Cleveland Cleveland will likely cut uh Brock Osweiler it sounds like and they will also uh cut Robert Griffin the third so that will ease up the the cap hit a little bit uh getting rid of RG3 uh, so what does that mean for Cleveland at the quarterback position? If uh, they just brought in Osweiler to uh, to get that second round pick, and they're just going to cut him, take the cap hit, cut RG three. Uh, what does that mean for both teams? Actually, what what are the Houston Texans now going to do at quarterback? Obviously, the rumor is about uh, Tony Romo. It sounds like he's uh, yesterday. Uh, it sounded like the Cowboys were going to re- release him. I even titled one of my videos on YouTube: "Cowboys will release Tony Romo." It sounds like that's not the case. They're actually going to try to get something in return for him. And it sounds like the two teams are Houston and Denver. So uh, that that makes it a little easier for Tony Romo to be brought in. I still think there's a good chance that Jimmy Garoppolo will go to Cleveland, but. This is interesting. Uh, what's going to happen now in Cleveland and in Houston? Uh, because a, a name that a quarterback that's the latest hit, he's kind of the Brock Osweiler of last year, and I have a feeling uh, this team might regret picking him up. Mike Glennon, he was a backup for Tampa Bay. I still don't get what the obsession is for him. He was signed by the Chicago Bears. There were rumors about him going into Cleveland uh, and among other teams. Uh, for three years, $45 million dollars. With a 19 million uh, in guaranteed money for what's for someone who will be considered a bridge quarterback between Jay Cutler and the next potential franchise quarterback for Chicago. So uh, it doesn't sound like the Bears are going to get Jimmy Garoppolo. That was a rumor. That was one of the other teams. You know, I mean, it made a lot of sense because uh, Garoppolo, I believe, is from Illinois or he played at Eastern Illinois. Uh, so I thought that would have been a good fit, and Cleveland never seems to be a good fit for anyone. Uh, but yeah, so Mike Glennon is off the market. Three years, $45 million, $19 million guaranteed. Uh, something that I thought about, though, it, could the Houston Texans go after uh, Jimmy Garoppolo? I think it makes a lot of sense. Now, uh, they just traded their second-round pick. I don't know what else they have uh, for draft picks that they could trade to New England. Uh, But, you know, Belichick doesn't obsess over first-round picks. I think he would probably like the 12th overall pick, and it sounds like they were asking for a 12th overall and a first-rounder next year for Cleveland, and Cleveland's only willing to give up the 12th pick uh, for Jimmy G, which just isn't enough when you think about what the Rams gave up for Jared Goff and the number one pick, and the Philadelphia Eagles gave up for Carson Wentz last year. And, you know, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me because Cleveland getting a franchise quarterback uh, it should be a number one priority. It just hasn't worked out there. And I think Jimmy Garoppolo is the guy. A lot of people haven't bought into him playing only six quarters. But what else do you need? You have all his college film. He has three years under the New England system. Uh, I think he would be attractive for the Houston Texans. You know, that is a former half that coaching staff are ex-Patriots. And a coaching staff that succeeded in New England, too. And uh, Bill O'Brien, uh, he wants to run a more complicated system, which he couldn't run under Brock Osweiler, immediately Jimmy Garoppolo would be ready to fill that role. I don't know who they'd trade. I think Nick Wright was floating out a rumor straight up Jimmy Garoppolo for DeAndre Hopkins. I don't think that'll happen because New England doesn't value wide receivers, and uh, for obvious reasons, it's worked out pretty well. They pay as much for all of their receivers as the Steelers are now paying for Antonio Brown, Uh, so New England puts their priorities elsewhere. Uh, but if Houston could get a deal for Jimmy Garoppolo, I think that would immediately put them as, as the second-best team 
in the AFC. Hell, if, if they get Tony Romo, too, I'd, I'd say the same thing. Uh, but again, it sounds like Romo will need to actually be traded for instead of being cut. But by the time I upload this video, that could change. So Dallas keeps going back and forth on that. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the Texans go after Jimmy Garoppolo now if they can't bring in Tony Romo, or they're going to pursue it at least. And uh, that also might put pressure on the Cleveland Browns, who again, will only give up the 12th overall pick for Jimmy Garoppolo, apparently, according to a report. And the Patriots obviously want more, and they have all the leverage. So we'll see what happens there, but it's interesting. Uh, Brock Osweiler, apparently uh, Cleveland's going to cut him, as I just mentioned earlier. And what will that mean uh, for him? I don't know. I guess teams are already calling Cleveland about bringing in Osweiler. I don't love Brock Osweiler. He's not accurate. Uh, he's, he's almost too tall at the quarterback position. Doesn't make great decisions a lot of the time. But then again, it's slim pickings at quarterback all over the league. So you have to think there are some teams that could want him. Although apparently the Cleveland Browns do not.